Say hi now. Howdy, we're back again. Bergs and Barani. The episode, Bergs and Bar- episode what? <laughs> Three. Three, yes. And uh, today's episode is brought to you by, oh, well, I think the colour black. The colour black. The black for all that is good in the world. <laughs> <laughs> especially rock. Yes, especially rock. Especially rock. Now, um, what do we got today? Well, what we've got is a very special pedal. I think, anyway, and it's not just special sneak because sneak of sneak over and have a look at it because of the awesomeness of <gasps> its look. Well, it look does look pretty awesome. It's called the Roland Double Beat AD50, and what it essentially is is a fuzzwar. Um, How old is that? I've got no idea. It must be like late seventies, eighties. I think it's more eighties. Yeah. Um, now here's the thing. There's a few pedals from back in the day that actually have a secret weapon and the secret weapon ends up being bigger than the kind of effect itself now this is supposed to be a wah pedal the wah on this is okay uh it probably needs a little bit of um uh, work on it It needs to be fixed a little because the boost is a bit low so but given that are you sure that that wah is working correctly because if you're not then maybe we should ask some of the viewers to contribute their thoughts anybody who actually owns one if, see whether it's the same. if there's anyone out there that owns the double b okay i mean i suppose in the that sounds all right to me yeah and kevin a, wilson kevin wilson's the expert in wires Okay. Give us your thoughts, Kev, on the, you know, the comments bit underneath the video. Yeah, um, I've had a few wires actually that drop a bit in signal. Yeah. And, um, it's a common affliction, unfortunately. That's why you see things like the custom audio that put, and, and uh, Wilson pedals that put boosts and, um, you know. Nice plug there, Burks. Attenuators. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, anyway, so yeah, I suppose if you were doing a session and you wanted the. That kind of funky little wah sound, that'd be perfect for it. But the secret weapon I was telling you about is the fuzz. Now, I have my suspicions about this fuzz that it's actually the B-Bar fuzz circuitry. Oh, the B-Bar was the first pedal I actually ever owned, just as a matter of, the, by the way. The Roland B-Bar fuzz. Which no, it was is the Shinai fuzz. Was the, the, the Shinai and then the B-Bar. Yeah. So the, um, the B-Bar fuzz is a highly collectible pedal, and I think I saw one recently going on eBay for about 560 US. Did you like the fuzz bit or the treble boost bit? I think I prefer the treble the treble boost. Me bit. too, but everybody yeah. else, well, most people are But again, talk to go for the fuzz. Again, yeah. these things are only only worth what someone's what some collector is, you know, prepared to pay for them. Um, anyway, but back to this. So oh, the yeah. secret Sorry. weapon is the fuzz. Right. Now, let's hear it. Have a listen to the fuzz. That's a pretty ace fuzz. Now, there's a little switch on this, if you, and it's got Where's the, the shape of the wave. So you've got a curly wave here. Can you get right in? Yeah, it's a sine wave and a square wave and a and a um, and a, a sine wave with a thin, with a thinner cube, like almost a triangle. So I think. I'm wondering why they didn't continue that on with all of their fuzz pedals. Like, what would what might that be? It's a mystery. Uh, but check this out. So you've got a warm. So which which wave is that's that? That's the the. So you know that's the sine wave. Yeah, that's the round one. Yeah. So the square one. Yeah. It's almost getting into Pink Floyd territory. Yeah, that's good. That's. It's almost the difference between a fuzz face and a muff. Yeah. And then this one is totally unusable. (laughs) 
So that's, that's play the satisfaction riff with that. Oh, uh, you here, you play. With that sound, you play because you've got the swap here. Yes. Oh, can I borrow a pick? I need yeah, a pick. Here we go. Here we go. There's my, there's my Phil Sobrano signature series picks. Wow. And who are they made by? Uh yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll next video. So I take, That's really good. I take it back that um, for that sort of sound, that fuzz, they're all very usable in co in context. Nine volt battery? Yes, one nine volt battery. There's which, no LEDs or any of that bullshit on there. No, no, no. There's no sort of facility. And I, I'm not sure about this whole true bypass thing. You're going to have to help me out there. Well, I don't think that would. Uh, maybe it would be true bypass. Sounds, sounds pretty, clean, pretty to me. clean to me. Sounds really clean. So here's the thing, uh, and this will sort of be a running um, theme through all of our videos. <clears throat> There's no rights or wrongs with this stuff. It's just kind of like uh, every pedal in context to the kind of music that you're playing. Because mm. you'd think, oh, you know, I play, yeah, but I play in a funk jazz band. Well, you know, this kind of thing might fit. Might fit. Ernie Isley from the Isley Brothers. If you want to do a sort of Miles Davis trumpety solo, that would be the sound. That would be the sound. You know, and then try it with the wah. In fact, that's probably where the wah works really well, and it might be why it's not the so. The trombo. I'm not doing what you think. No. <laughs> The, the horn mute. The horn mute. The, the that's one. it. You could do that. So, <laughs> actually, that's probably why the wah on this thing is a bit down in level because the boost that you get from this. It's been showing a good time. Too much. Is so incredible. That oh, I see. You see what I'm saying? That sounds a bit like the funny cat. It does, which, which is, is another pedal we'll be doing. Later. Which is another pedal we'll be doing. Anyway, that's look, that's, that's good. That's the double beat. AD fifty. We don't know when it was born, do we? No, I'd I'd say early eighties, early eighties, and it probably died because around that time things started to get a bit punky, mm. and the wah thing wasn't as didn't become hip again until grunge era. And it's big and metal, and would have cost a bloody fortune to produce. It probably too. would have, yeah. yeah. Um, it's cool though. I love it. And you can still find them for, you know, afford, affordable prices on eBay. But, but, but the you, sad thing about us now doing these videos is that these pedals... We're stuffing up the market. ...are going to start going up again. That's very vain of us to say that we're stuffing up the market, but it might be true. That Attack Decay that you we showed them the first week, yeah, 1300 bucks. <laughs> went for a couple of days ago. That's insane. You guys are nuts. Yeah, I, I think I picked that up for 150 bucks. There Wait till I see the Mutron board. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. we got to go. we got to go. So, see you see next ya. week.